Dad vs. Logan County is a story that we have written based upon an article written in the Lee Conian. An important jazz case that happened, or a court case that happened in Logan County, Illinois in uh, 1924. It was covering the fact that jazz was no longer going to be a, a form of music expressed in Lincoln. The whole point of this is to have an understanding on how, what, when, and why it happened. Because it's so important to know history, right? That's how it reflects on what is going on today. This is kind of an unprecedented time for the semester because we have been dealing with COVID-19 and we have been forced online multiple times and it's been really, really difficult to work through. But we have been doing our best and we have created a script that I think a lot of people are going to enjoy. What we have accomplished in this semester is quite possibly the best thing we've created in the last couple of years. So I'm very happy with the work we've done. Doing this, it really helps like, every single one of us, like, not just individually, but spiritually. Uh, we all come together as one, you know, working as unite as a group. COVID was a real bummer when it came to this entire show because we were supposed to actually uh, opening night was actually supposed to be tonight. We took a really big step on, you know, partaking in doing such a huge project, you know, in the middle of a global pandemic. We got quite a few different good things that came out of it. Thought our instruments were lightsabers at one point. Me and my friends wrote uh, a song called Black and White, and we performed it. And like with that song, we wanted to bring everyone together. After we filmed Black and White, which is the original piece, we uh, walked over to the piano, and Jade, who you will hear from, uh, started spitting out lyrics. Shannon, being the great composer she is, jumped on the piano, and then. Sammy just took it away on the drums and it all sounded really good and I just mainly improvised and just saying what I felt and that's how that song really came together and I'm really proud of all of us because I don't even know we had that in us we're just kind of like whoop but I keep on The song talks about black and white, talks about uh, how like things would be difficult but you'll still have that someone to be with you and through difficult times. We're all going through challenges. Like, personal challenges, whether it be school being hard or your home life is hard, but at the end of the day, and at the, at the end of the road, we're going to get some. And if you put out those positive thoughts into the world, it'll get better. And that's why I go to music, because music gets me out of those dark times. If I'm feeling negative, I start singing random songs, and I'm no longer in that darkness. I'm no longer in that negativity.
COVID, it's really hard sometimes to keep going and keep creating and keep doing um, the stuff we're doing because a lot of people, some people have given up, some people feel that why, why keep going on with the COVID? I, they feel like they can't do anything. We've been working really hard on this, and we've been outside, and we work everywhere. We've literally been outside rehearsing. We've been inside rehearsing. We've been on the ceiling. We're, you know, <laughs> we've been everywhere rehearsing. This is going to be a really good um, show. It's going to be a really good project. It's helped me to meet a lot of people that I thought I wouldn't work with, whether it was script writing or song construction. has opened up a lot of things music-wise for me that I didn't think would happen because I never used to make or create music with other people. I just recorded. The song Glory be our story told. That's what it is. We performed it under the tent outside on a Friday night actually and that was the first time I had heard it and I was blown away with it because it's such it's such a motivating song because they're like Glory let our story be told like let us get somewhere in life. Let us be where we want to be. Imagine a world of hopeful, musical bliss. Unity in one world, togetherness. And it's so positive, it's so motivating, just like the show, because it's showing that they can get there. Because the song's like, we want to get here. Like, please let our story be told. Let people hear our story. And when I first heard it, I was blown away. I was like, whoa, that's some good lyrics. That's some good songs. Black music has always been loved, no matter what type of music it was. That's love. <laughs> you know COVID doesn't bother me, it doesn't stop me from doing what I want to do, or achieving what I want to achieve. That words, they hit with every roar. Blurry lies we simply can't ignore. 